have left on it. Vehicles pitching downrange. Please direct the chamber pressure nominal. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. One of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Booster coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster Stage separation. Stage separation. Hot right. stage confer separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully, I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm going to send it to you guys in Hawthorne. The booster return. We did hear that the tower is go for catch, so that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. It's launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, and the booster. Starship on nominal guys, trajectory. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking up right now. <laughs> It's, it's pretty much right over ahead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. Three phases, we're gonna land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're gonna ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Sure the Landing burn. Thirteen engines. Ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Thank you. in orbit, but I am, I am like shaking right now. That was... Yeah, it... Oh, this is not... <laughs> yeah, I let's, mean, let's it's... Let's check in on ship. <laughs> it's hard to believe that... Starship nominal orbit insertion. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, Booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there. A gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, ship, the ship. Yes, safe and it is now in, in the orbit that we expected it to. This is just an incredible day. Live views there as the booster vents some pressures there. That is a live view from the top of the tower <laughs> looking at the chopsticks. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I'm trying to catch my tears just like the chopsticks caught the booster. <laughs> it has been nonstop <laughs> since liftoff. <laughs> We are all so excited about everything that's been happening so far this morning. With the booster having completed its job for today, we are going to take a short break for the next 30 minutes. We'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast before re-entry. We just caught a booster. 
<clears throat> We're going to start looking real soon at when we can catch a ship. <laughs> Uh, the view on your left is a camera that's positioned near the nose of, star, of, of the ship, looking basically toward the flap. Um, the view on the right is looking perpendicular to the flap. So we're looking basically bird's eye view onto the flap on the left-hand side, and then a worm's eye view uh, from the side with that view on the right. We're making a controlled re-entry. This is one of the primary objectives for Starship today, is to demonstrate another controlled re-entry, even more controlled than what we saw on Flight 4. And so far, uh, that is looking good. Starship now at T plus one hour and nine seconds into its flight today, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, currently about 45 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, now 44. We are targeting a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean, uh, about, you know, oh, northwest-ish of Australia. After engines ignite, if we are unable to see that illumination ourselves. Landing bird start up. <laughs> of that landing burn. We can see the water just behind the ship. Starship is landed. An incredible view. I think it is safe to say we have a ship in the water. <laughs> An incredible view of a ship landing just about on target as they were calling out. That was amazing. <laughs> and we did we were not intending to recover any of the ship's hardware, so that was the, the best ending that we could have hoped for. <laughs> Man, I I don't think we're gonna be able to get a, a ton of extra video of the heat shield, but we hit the target. We hit the target. Yeah. I mean, you know we hit the target because we had these buoys placed in a pretty specific spot, so wow. Um what a day. I feel like that's all that's that's what I get to say. What a day. Um I mean, every, everything started off today with, with that launch. Uh, we were able to lift off towards the end of our window, 7.25 a.m. Central Time. Uh, 33 out of 33 Raptors in the way uphill. Successful hot stage. Booster came back. We watched it come down right behind us. Watched it get caught. And that, like, that broke my brain for a while. Um, I'm really happy we had coast for a bit. But that's first ever booster catch, major step on the way to rapid reusability. And ship just gave us one heck of a show, making it through a controlled reentry this time. Flaps intact, made it down to the water. Uh, hey, starships were meant to fly, and it sure as hell flew today. So let's get ready for the next one. Over to you guys. <laughs> This was absolutely incredibly mind-blowing and this proves once again that Elon Musk is capable of doing the impossible over and over and over again. And for us Tesla stock investors, this is extremely relevant because it proves that Elon Musk can deliver on the impossible, meaning that full self-driving will be solved by Tesla and Elon Musk. So I remain just as bullish as before. Actually, I am more bullish now because look at what Elon Musk just achieved with SpaceX and Starship. He just proved basically that he can successfully colonize Mars. This just happened, literally.